The first thing you would see inside our center is the Human Brain Dynamics Laboratory. Dr. Eugene Kim is interested in studying how our brain presents the abstract information covering from statistical summary of sensory signals to semantics. His lab uses multiple techniques ranging from behavioral methods such as psychophysics and eye tracking to brain imaging techniques such as EKG, MRI, and EEG. Aiming at better understanding of how various perceptual, cognitive, and conscious processes unfold in time, he also uses machine learning techniques to prove the spatial temporal pattern dynamics of brain imaging data. It takes less than a second to initiate a physical response from the visual stimuli, and this remarkable speed is carried out by electrical signals within or between neurons and astrocytes in the brain. Therefore, a series of experiments for analysis of those electrical signals, electrophysiology, is considered as a gold standard for studying neurons, astrocytes, and interaction between them. Dr. Justin Lee is interested in plasticity of tripartite snaps, which is the physical link between neurons and astrocytes in physiological and pathological brains. To measure its electrophysiological changes, we have 12 patch clamp rigs for a single cell or single channel, and two field recording rigs for a group of cells. The detailed structure and molecular composition of the brain can be visualized by microscopy. Zeiss LSM900 with airy skin and lattice seam are the state-of-the-art microscopes that gives resolution beyond the diffraction limit. With these advanced microscopes, we can image high-quality subcellular structure of the brain cells and seek for molecular and cellular mechanisms of glial transmission, gliosis, and neurodegeneration. This is where we conduct cellular and molecular works. You can do any typical molecular work like cloning, RNA extraction, western blot, and also specialized experiments such as real-time PCR, metabolism analysis, protein-protein or protein-chemical interaction, multiplexing assay, and high-throughput screening. In culture cells and animals, genetic material can be commonly transferred by viral vectors. Genetic modification of brain using virus enables for in vivo behavioral and physiological study. We have a specialized facility committed to provide services of viral vector design, cloning, and virus production for each gene of interest. The IVS virus facility provides ready to transduce rentivirus and adeno associated virus particles suitable for in vitro and in vivo study. One of the biggest challenges in neuroscience is the non invasive modulation of the brain. Dr. Chumin Park uses ultrasound stimulation to modulate neuronal activity and induce long lasting effects such as long term potentiation and depression. Ultrasound can penetrate deeply into the brain non invasively with a high spatial resolution and mimic electrical stimulation with microelectrodes. The ultrasound is generated using two function generators and the output signal is transmitted to ultrasound transducer and conical collimator filled with ultrasound coupling. The brain is composed of diverse neurons and astrocytes and differs in gene expression according to its morphology, connectivity, and electrophysiological properties. Recent advances in single-cell gene expression profiling enable detailed characterization of individual neurons and astrocytes. With Fluodime C1 and Illuma MI6, we are investigating the cell type specificity and the regional heterogeneity of the gene expression in neurons and astrocytes and trying to portray the brain meticulously. In addition, we are studying the transcription and alteration in neurons and astrocytes in conditions of various brain diseases. Many efforts have been made to study behavior, that is, to make a standardized quantitative method. As a pioneer of cognition and sociality related behaviors, there are challenges whenever a behavior that has been studied comes in. We build customized behavior analysis instruments and programs to define and quantify such behavior. 
Dr. Ginny Beck, a jack of all trades, raises mice, sorters to make devices, and types codes to obtain and analyze the data. You will see the creations researchers have made such a chamber for observational fear and rule observance behavior in a minute. Sometimes you need a break. No one would argue that having a refreshing moment is the right choice whenever you feel tired or get stuck in something. The center provides modest but comfortable sofa for your nap, island table for chit chats, and the cutting edge Nespresso machine for caffeine. What else? The research in IBS is heavily supported by units which belong to the Research Solution Center or RSC. The EM division of RSC provides cryo-electron microscope for sub-nanometer scale imaging and analysis of protein structure. FAPS division is equipped with three flow cytometry machines, and one of them is capable of cell sorting. FAPS division provides not only a way of analyzing the heterogeneity of cells in a tissue, but also a very efficient way to make cell lines with stable expression of gene of interest. The imaging division of RSC is equipped with ultra-modern microscopists, such as Steam and Stone for super-resolution imaging, multi-photon microscope for deep tissue imaging, Image Express and Thunder for high-throughput imaging, and multiple Comforka microscopists for everyday use. Dr. Sang Lee is an expert in optogenetics and synthetic biology. The goal of his research is to understand the nature of molecular communication and its impact on communication at the cellular and organism level, explaining how the brain works as a whole. To achieve this goal, his lab has designed a series of optogenetic tools that use light to manipulate specific molecular communications in biological systems. In addition, his lab aims to provide a valuable means to directly assess structure-function relationship of brain connections by developing new synthetic molecules that regulate the physical connections between cells in the brain. The animal facility is the biggest unit of RSC the center relies on. This facility provides all the mouse lines for in vivo experiments, and we can do various behavior experiments inside as well as genetic manipulation in the mouse brain using viruses. A variety of behavior tests can be tested on mouse or other model animals, namely field tests, maze, and conditioning to measure cognitive ability and emotional states. Dr. Seung Kim, a social behavior expert, is interested in empathy and utilizes a behavior model called observational fear. Utilizing in vivo calcium imaging of neuron activity, optogenetic manipulation, neuroanatomical tracing, and advanced molecular genetic techniques, he seeks to find mechanistic explanation for how the brain generates and affects sharing and how pathological dysfunction within these brain networks causes abnormal empathic responses. Dr. Doyun Lee, who is interested in studying neural mechanisms of social recognition, has developed a novel individual discrimination paradigm that requires subject mice to distinguish between two sibling mice. Using two-photo microscope, his lab monitors activities of hippocampal neuronal populations while the mice are performing the individual discrimination task. Presently, his lab identifies neurons that represent individual mice suggesting that the hippocampal neurons encode who information.